right, we're gonna get after a bit of a solo milking here. Gonna get it all 250 or 260. I'm not sure how exactly how many cows we're milking right now. Milk by myself. Um, something I'm gonna address right at the beginning of the video. Yes, I am wearing a thing to keep my hair backing up. And one reason of that is, is I got this uh, head mail. So I'm gonna try and rock the GoPro on top of my head. It's gonna be like right somewhere in my forehead. Uh, I think that might give a better angle for when I'm milking. It might, you know, like a better angle of what I would see. So like you guys could have a better understanding of how the milking actually goes from like someone who's doing it. And then another thing is I've gotten a couple different comments about people like not liking my gum chewing because obviously I've been chewing a bunch of gum on camera. I'll try to like keep that down to a minimum, like try and take the gum out of my mouth when I do talk to the camera, even though I have it in my mouth right now. But it's hard because you know, on the farm, like your hands get dirty and you can't always be cleaning them. So taking gum in your mouth is kind of difficult. And the reason that I chew so much gum is because actually like a month and a half ago, I completely quit um, chewing tobacco, which you know, is like dippable tobacco you put in your lip and all that. And I, I had that issue for a couple years, but the reason I ended up quitting is because I was actually doing YouTube and I got tired of listening back when I edited the videos of the sound of me spitting out chewing tobacco on the ground. I just hated the sound of it. So actually starting YouTube saved me from my uh, tobacco addiction, but now I have this annoying gum chewing thing that I do now, which I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop chewing gum so much because like, it's like, all right, but it's just kind of like a force of habit thing. So just bear with me here on that one. I'll try and more often, you know, take the gum out of my mouth when I'm talking to the camera. But yeah, it's just the way it's going to be for a while. But um, yeah, we're going to get after the milking here. I'm going to set this GoPro up on the top of my head and we'll just go from there. Not sure how this head mount's gonna work out. I'm just doing some test runs right now. So this probably won't even make the final cut of the video, but I'm just taking off the wash cups and getting ready for the milking itself. Actually, uh, I'm liking the angle this thing's giving me. I'm not, cause like I can't check the angle in real time. So that's the only issue that I'm thinking might arise right now. Cause like, I'm not sure exactly what it's getting but i think this might be um yep yep the uh the new tactic that i go with when i'm wanting to do the the pov type videos so you guys like it's basically you're seeing what i'm seeing except like a little bit taller so it's like you guys are six foot three and i'm six foot two because it's looking from the middle of my forehead so maybe when i do stuff i'll just try to duck down lower but I mean, it gives a pretty good understanding of where my eyes are when I'm doing this kind of work. So I like that. But right now I'm just dipping uh, with the hydrogen peroxide dip. Now I'm gonna grab some towels here, get four of them, one cow for each side of the towel. You wipe nipples down. Get all the way to the end here. Keep on moving through these cows. Alright, uh, now get the milking machines hooked up. Oh, that might be an issue in the metal bar. I'm not sure. I'm just putting you guys right in the if you feel the vision or not. Ugh. Oh shit. Ow. That's gonna get some getting used to. There's no bar right here. Might be a little bit of an issue catching my, not my head, but the camera, you know, on it. Ah. Twice now that I've done it. What do you think? Just a new look, hair coming out the back here? I don't think so. I was just looking back over it and I look weird as hell. <laughs> oh God. Um, so I got the, uh, the other side hooked up here. And as this side comes unhooked, what we do is we grab um, 
our trusty dusty iodine here and we do a post dip so what the post dip does is uh, a lot of the cows once they get done milking uh, their nipples are still dilated out so we put the post dip on there to uh, pr put a protective coating on there in case you know they might splash up any any bacteria or anything that want to get in there and infect the inside of their udder and give them mastitis or anything like that so you just post dip all of the uh, cows the freshly milked cows boop, 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 boop. And last one. Okay, now I let out these cows, and as they're going out, uh, something that we do on our farm is uh, I'm gonna take this hose and back flush all the machines. So I'm gonna set the GoPro up on my head and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, hopefully this is uh, in view. But you take the machine, spray it down, clean it off, take the hose, put it up to this one, back flush the whole thing out until you see the water in there is clear, then you move on to the next one. This is just one of the steps that we take to combat any sort of mastitis on our farm. It's one of the reasons why that uh, our farm receives so many milk quality awards and we always have a super low uh, somatic cell count. Like to keep our workstation clean, basically. Something that we tell all of our milkers You gotta keep everything clean. And also, um, this water and this water is has extra chlorine in it, so it helps really kill any sort of bacteria that might try and build up on any of our machines or inside of them. So yeah, bam, and then uh. So there's a cadence that goes on when you're milking cows. So as soon as that side's out, you bring in the next side and get in eight more cows. And then you focus on only those eight cows. So like, you know, I, I dip them, then I wipe them, then I hook them up and then I flip around and that side will be done. And then I, you know, let dip them, let them out, spray out their machines, bring it in and you repeat the process. So it's like, boom, boom. You always have cows milking at all times in the parlor, because we only have a double eight, so you can do it pretty quick, but you always have cows milking, always have cows milking. And it helps it go through the milking way quicker that way. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit with another update. Word of advice, if you have long hair and someone tries to convince you to chop it off, don't do it, don't do it at all. Like, look at this, look at, look at all this compared to what I had going before with my hair all pulled back, no. I mean, maybe I can pull it off more because I'm a farmer and I'm supposed to have, and I live in, you know, the Pacific Northwest, so I got that rugged, whatever, mountain look going, but no. And also, I'm not cutting my hair until my brother Jordan cuts his hair because me and him got a bet going on who can keep their hair growing out the longest for longer. So I'm a little bit behind him in length, but like, we're, neither of us are, we both like, you know, we refuse to win a bet, so I don't think either of us are cutting our hair anytime soon. But we'll see. I mean, maybe something along the line. I might cut my hair for some reason, but I highly doubt it. Because, I mean, look. So much better. Got to go get the uh, third string. When you do the afternoon milking, yeah, you're responsible for the last string of cows. Uh, the other two strings get got by the uh, afternoon calf feeder. But you go get the third string for yourself, scrape the cows, and then keep milking. I'll get all these girls up and keep her going. Come on, cows. Get up, get up, everybody up. Now I'll be back when I got them closer to being in the holding pen, then we'll do some scraping. Come on, everybody. Let's move it along. Nice and easy. Dip, 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 dip. Come on. Come on, get up in there. Let's go. Yep. Yep. There we go. 
Okay. With these gates chained here, flip them around the way they're supposed to go, and then uh, do some scraping, and then we'll be back in there of this last string to milk, and then we'll be done milking for this afternoon at least. I know. To Come on, hey, step up. I know tomorrow morning I'm supposed to be helping out. Uh, we're going to be doing some hoof war stuff. We're going to have a hoof trimmer here. I'm not sure if that'll be for this video or the next video, but we will see. Yep. Chain, chain, chain. All right, uh, I'll be back when I'm on the scraper tractor. Man, I was uh, just doing the scraping and I thought I had my GoPro recording and talking to it, but apparently I don't. Um, but we're gonna go park this baby real quick because I just got done. And then we'll get back to milking the cows. And once I'm done milking, uh, get the parlor all hosed out and do all the post wash and stuff. All that fun stuff. The huge. It's crazy how light it stays out nowadays. Back like not even a week ago, if I would have been recording at this time, it would have been pitch black out. <sighs> I'll see you guys back in the parlor. I'm going to just park the tractor in its little shed right there. everyone for watching at the uh, time of recording this I just hit 900 subscribers on YouTube so that's crazy a thousand coming in soon um, let me know what you guys thought of the head mount thing I wasn't too sure about it I think it might do all right for later videos but if you like the angle then let me know um, I'll catch you guys next Tuesday Thursday and Sunday when I upload next but yeah till then peace out